Hello everyone and welcome back to another unboxing and review on my channel. In this video I will be taking a look at some of the Captain Joe merchandise. Some of you might know who Captain Joe is but if you don't then he is a pilot for Cargo Lux and he flies the Boeing 747-8 freighter fleet. And he has got his own YouTube channel and he makes amazing educational videos about the aviation industry. I highly recommend checking out his channel if you haven't already. I will leave a link in the description and a card at the top right corner of your screen just now. Unless you are watching this video on a console, in which case you will not be able to see either the description or the card. Now this envelope contains a keyring and a sticker and this was part of a bundle and I feel like buying the bundle was a bit better and it might have saved me a bit more money rather than buying the sticker and the keyring separately. So I'm now going to um, open up the envelope and take a look at the sticker and the keyring. So that's the keyring and we also have a sticker with the Captain Joe logo. I know you can't see it just now, but I think I have to um, peel it off, which I'm not going to do just yet, because I don't want the sticker to lose its stickiness. But I do plan on sticking this sticker onto my laptop that I do my video editing on, and I think that would be a really cool thing to do. So that's the bundle with the keyring and the Captain Joe sticker. So on one side of the keyring we have the Captain Joe logo and on the other side it says remove before flight. So now on to the unboxing of the Captain Joe aircraft. This model was made by German company Herpa and this is my second Herpa model that I have collected. So this is a 1 to 250 scale model and the front of the box is definitely really cool. We have a diagram of what the aircraft looks like. Up here it says Captain Joe Boeing 747-8 freighter. So instead of the normal dash, there is a slash. And at the bottom right corner of the front of the box, we have a picture of Captain Joe himself wearing a headset. And both the left, right and top side of the box are the same. It says Captain Joe Boeing 747-8 freighter with a diagram of the aircraft. Here's the top and here is the right side of the box. And this is what the back of the box looks like. We have a total of four more pictures of the model and we also have a little message from Captain Joe and it says Dear friend and follower, thank you so much for supporting my Fly With Captain Joe project, motivating and inspiring the future of generation pilots. I hope my plane model will find a nice spot on your desk where it should always remind you to never stop believing in yourself, aim higher and never lose focus of your goals. The plane is aiming for the sky and so should you. Wishing you all the best and don't forget, a good pilot is always learning. Yours, Joe. And here is a picture of Captain Joe holding up, I think that's a bit of paper or something, saying I appreciate you. And down here it says, do your best and forget the rest. So that's a really nice message from Captain Joe. And here we have a picture of the nose of the aircraft. Here we have a picture of engines 3 and 4. Here we have another picture of one of the four engines. And here is a picture of the registration of the aircraft, G-CJOE. And next to the registration we have a picture of the Union flag. And on the bottom of the box we have a bit of information about the company Herpa. So there's the Herpa logo and here it says 14 plus which means that this model is mainly for people aged 14 and over. Now that there I believe is the recycling logo and there's some writing around it however it's in German so I can't exactly read it. And at the left corner of the bottom of this box we have a link to the Herpa website and there's a phone number and some other stuff. 
However, I don't really know what it is because it's all in German and I don't speak German. And over here, it says small scale and lifelike model for adult collectors, not suitable for children under 14 years. And it says it in English and a few other languages, and I know for a fact that one of the other languages is German. And over here we have some writing in both German and English. English is at the bottom and German is at the top. And it says exposure to direct sunlight and heat can damage the item in the long term. Recommended storage, please store the model dust free at room temperature and protect from UV radiation. And here we have the item number 612791. Now that I have had a look at the box, I am now going to unbox the model itself. And it looks pretty easy, I'm just going to do what I normally do. There's no sticker or anything protecting it, either on the left side or the right side of the box. So what I'm going to do is put my fingers between this part of the box and then lift it up. Pull out this bit of plastic containing different parts of the model. Now, here's a bit of useful information for you, and you would have probably already noticed. The aircraft comes in pieces, and a good part about this model is that it's not all in so many pieces. There's only a few that you just attach to each other. So I just need to lift up this bit of plastic. It's quite loud as well for some reason. Lift up this bit of wrapper and all the pieces are quite easy to lift up as well. Just remember to be careful and do not lose these. So now that I have got all of the pieces of the aircraft out of the box, I can now put it together. Here is the right wing with engines 3 and 4 on it, so I can easily just put that through this bit. There's little holes here to put the parts in, so that will definitely come in handy. Okay, so I've managed to get the right wing on. Now, putting these parts together with this kind of model can be a bit frustrating, so just remember to stay calm and if you need help, do not hesitate to ask. So now I have both wings on, so now I'm going to put the tail on. So I managed to put the tail on, but it was a bit difficult. But just remember, do not try and force any part of the aircraft on, because you risk breaking it. So this is the left tail wing of the aircraft, and something to keep in mind is that you should make sure the tail wings should always point up. If they're pointing down, then that means you have put them on the wrong way round. Now I actually had to pause the video because I had made the same mistake at least two times, but I have finally managed to fix my mistakes. So I have managed to put on the left tail wing. Now I will put on the right tail wing, which I have managed to do, and now it looks like the tail wings are pointing upwards slightly, and that's how it should always be. So now all I need to do is put this part of the stand on here, and then put the model on this part of the stand. So here's what you do. These bits of the stand you need to put here, and then it just slides on and locks into place. So now that I have locked that part of the stand into place, I can now put the model on the stand. And here is the completed model. I really, really like the look of this model, especially when it is on the stand. So what I am going to do now is show you all the features of this model. Starting off with the left side of the aircraft, here we have the cockpit windows with an escape hatch for the pilots to escape the aircraft through. Here it says Boeing 747-8 freighter. And there is the first door on the left hand side of the aircraft. 
Here are three windows on the upper deck of the aircraft. Here we have the Captain Joe logo. Here are three important words in the aviation industry. Aviate, navigate and communicate. Here we have the left wing of the aircraft with engines one and two. And on the end of the wing we have the red navigation light. Now for some reason this model does not have any slats at the front of any of the two wings. But that's okay because it's just a model. At the back of the left wing we have the speed brakes and the flaps. And here we have one of the cargo doors on the aircraft. And here we have the registration of the aircraft G-CJOE. And to the left of the registration we have the Union flag. And here we have the tail section of the aircraft with the black tail. And at the top of the tail we have a little animated diagram of an aircraft and three yellow stripes just above the picture of the aircraft which are the three stripes that are very common on the uniform of a pilot. We also have both of the aircraft's tail wings with the horizontal stabilizers and also on the tail of the aircraft, I don't know if you can see, I can see through the camera, the rudders on the tail of the aircraft. Now moving on to the right side of the aircraft, everything is pretty much the same. So here we have the cockpit windows yet again, here we have another door, three windows on the right side of the aircraft on the upper deck. Here we have the Captain Joe logo. Underneath the Captain Joe logo we have another cargo door. Here it says Boeing 747-8 Freighter. Here are the three important words in the aviation industry. Aviate, navigate and communicate. And here we have the right wing with engines 3 and 4 with no slats. And here we have the speed brakes and the flaps. And on the right wing we have the green navigation light. Okay, so I don't think my camera will focus in on the green navigation light of the aircraft. But it is there. Here we yet again have the registration of the aircraft G-CJOE with the Union flag next to it. And underneath the registration we have another cargo door. We actually have two. We have one bigger one and one smaller one. And once again we have the tail section of the aircraft. And I don't really need to say what's there because I've already said everything that's there on the tail section of the aircraft. And on the aircraft stand it says Captain Joe and it also says Boeing 747-8 Freighter which is what Captain Joe flies with Cargo Lux. And I really really like this aircraft. And I also really like the keychain as well, which I will either put on my suitcase or one of my bags or attach it to my keys. I don't really know to be honest, but I really do like the Captain Joe merchandise. I know I haven't really got as much merchandise. And there is some more Captain Joe merchandise, not only on his website, but also in the store section of his YouTube channel. He's got jumpers, or sweaters as the Americans would say, t-shirts, and a mug. And who knows, maybe in the future I will buy some more merchandise, either from Captain Joe or from another aviation YouTuber. And before I end this video, I would just like to say a quick hello to my friend James Swan, who is also an aviation enthusiast based at Edinburgh Airport. There's no reason why I'm really giving him a shout out, but I'm just saying hi to him because he asked me to. So there is your shout out, James. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you all in the next video.